Hello oh, there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Bassy. Just getting off to a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. It's actually going to be a little bit of fun as today we check out the Infinity Wars official trailer. So, what you got for me in two minutes, Marvel? What you got for me? Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Hi. There was an idea where we could make millions of dollars to bring together a group of remarkable people to see if we could become something more. Oh, vision going full manly? So That's actually not too bad. Us, we could fight the battle. We make all day. That they never could. Oh, blonde widow. That's kind of cool, actually, uh, because it was uh, there was a second Black Widow, wasn't there? The one Black Widow. There was another one that's trained like her in the Red Room. Nice touch. In time, you will know what it's like to lose, and we will fail so desperately that you're right. Yet to fail. Oh no! All the it's same. dangerous. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. So literally, it's actually nice. This is interesting. Like the same for the character I suppose. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm not doing spidey suit. And get our defenses. And get this man a shield. <laughs> Here it is. Oh, Buster returns. This is actually looking pretty badass, to be honest. Everything is falling to Fun shit. Isn't something one considers when balancing the universe. Ah, uh, there you go. But this. <laughs> the first movie is really just going to be picking up one jam after another and destroying everybody. Yeah, it's not going to happen too much. What was the name of. What was the name of the enemies in the Ultimate Avengers? The alien Is that all we get? No. Who the hell are you guys? <laughs> well, let's get them all introduced. So obviously a um, montage of absolutely all, all shit hitting the fans. Thanos being badass. Uh, we're probably going to see a little bit more of the Thanos' warriors, really. A um, few things I spotted of interest was Blonde Black Widow. Uh, especially the fact that we see her redheaded later on or in other parts of the trailer, which is, all right, I suppose, I mean, makes a lot of sense. Um, maybe just one of those things where like, she got, just got scared blonde by the shit that was going on. Or it could be one of those things where, like, timeline-wise, it's completely separate from each other. Um, not timelines, but, I mean, in the timeline of the movie, it's completely separated from each other. What else can I think of that actually was a real standout in that? Uh, Hulkbuster being back. We saw it in pieces at one point. We also see it actually out in the battlefield. Obviously. Uh, Tony has that little vision where he feels everyone almost come true. Uh, Cap is looking very nomad esque, and uh, I wonder if it's going to be less of a cap on your uniform, and we might see a little bit more yellow and blue. <laughs> that'd be that'd be a nice touch. If you actually like throw him in a bit more yellow and blue, I'd actually go like, yeah, you know what? Fair play to you for actually mentioning nomad. Not many people think of that era. Uh, Bucky Barnes on the front lines and Wakanda as it looked like to be Falcon as well, but that looks like pretty much all the Avengers are kind of using that as their hub point to work out of. Uh, Thor and Loki, there definitely seem to be Loki handing over the cube after the everything around him is fucked. So I'm pretty sure that is actually Loki realizing I fucked up bad by trying to take the cube. Obviously, it was like so heavily overshadowed in Thor Ragnarok, so that's like that tail end is like, explaining how. Thor ends up on the Guardian ship. It's kind of nice to actually have Thor, who the hell are you? Looking across the Guardians, who we were going like, we all, we all love these characters. You're only meeting them for the first time. Obviously, uh, they're going to have a little bit of history explanation for what's going on with Thanos. Thor, it looks beaten into shit. Um, especially the fact that um, for many people, anybody who hasn't seen Ragnarok, the eye is a, brand, is a new touch that then people didn't know about otherwise. Um... Wow, there that was densely packed with plenty of stuff to actually talk about in the Infinity War trailer. 
But uh, overall, looks like a rip-roaring action entertainment. Uh, probably not heavy on massive kind of like plot and arcs and character details. It is get everybody as fast as we can into a combat scenario versus Thanos. Have them all fail and then have them rise against it again in a secondary situation. Which I think the second movie could very well focus on the Avengers failing and literally Adam Warlock showing up. To kind of like solve the problem for them in a lot of ways. I really don't like the idea of seeing Vision having his gem torn from him and us and Vision dying. That's ostensibly that's what will happen if he has it pulled from him because essentially it's like it's, it's his brain, I suppose, about anything. So uh, I saw Loki's scepter, was it? That was against his forehead. So has Loki really just gone, oh, fuck it, I am just following the most powerful man in the room? But she was essentially, it ties it all the way back to the first Avenger movie because that's what Loki was doing. He was uh, attacking Earth with the, the cube essentially to probably prepare for Thanos' arrival. But he's like, there you go, there, that's yours. I, I understand. I, I, I'm your bitch. So with uh, purple and blue in his gauntlet, who had purple? So purple was, I'm pretty sure purple was the actual one from the first Guardians, wasn't it? That was purple. Uh, blue being the uh, Tesseract Cube from uh, the first Avengers. And uh, we know where Red is. It was in the Collector's Collection, I suppose. Uh, also under the protection of him whenever they left it there after Thor 2. That's three. Fourth gem is inside of Vision's head. And where was the fifth gem? Ah, oh, yes, that's right. It was the uh, Agamemno. Uh, gem, the set of gem of Agamemnon in the chest. So literally, we're going to have a adventure. I'm pretty, pretty sure Strange's job is going to be do play keep away, get that thing the fuck away from Thanos as far as humanly possible. Well, inhumanly possible. <laughs> in humans, <laughs> we're never going to see those involved. Um, inhumanly possible from the actual rest of uh, the rest of <laughs> the other gems. So I suppose we might, I, I think if you're, going to, if you're going to go Avengers and from the team that we saw that was actually at Wakanda, could you see the Guardians and Thor fucking running with the, um, was it, it wasn't a Soul Gem, but it's the red one, the red one from uh, Thor Dark World in one direction and Strange running in the other direction and everybody else going like, we can take him down with three. If he has three, we can still do this. We can do it. We can, we've got one. He's got two. He's only double as strong as us. We, we got this shit. We, we can do this. And then realizing, like, no, we ain't got this. And losing their one. And then the second half of Infinity War is Thanos on the quest for the other two. And since they're off planet, it means Earth doesn't get fucking destroyed. That's just my guess on the format of the story. I don't know anything other than uh, suppositions, thoughts, and basically strategic planning of locations and how to spread the characters across, um, or spread all the characters across the larger franchise. But uh, pff, any thoughts, any opinions, any ideas other than that? Uh, do you think the structure is going to be a little bit different from that for the Infinity Wars Part 1, Part 2? Or do you think that is exactly what it's going to be? Make sure to throw the comments underneath the video. And have all your thoughts. This has actually been an interesting little hype train. Because this is a movie I actually am hypey, hypey, hypey for. But um, more of the fact that it is. It, I think this should be the end of a lot of the actors involvement in the Marvel franchise uh, ongoing. Let, let's, let's give Iron Man a break. Let's give Cap a break. I know we want him to play the characters forever. But nah man. No actor. Well, I mean. No actor. I get plenty of actors want to be doing this for absolutely forever because it's great money and it's a great job and it's an interesting fucking experience. But um, I think I think a lot of them might might be time to take a break from those characters. And if you want to bring them back later on, that'd be an interesting idea. Go with the younger ones and the uh, smaller known characters and maybe spread the wings a little bit. Let Marvel spread your wings. Let's see what you got. Who you want to go? Who could you bring up next? Who 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 else is coming? We've got Miss Marvel already on the sheets. Uh, was Marvel made their plans for the next 20 movies? I haven't even looked at that goddamn list. I don't want to look at that list, to be honest. But uh, we'll probably take a look after uh, checking out this video. If there's any of the ones in particular that may... Uh, like, I, because I haven't looked at that list, if anything that I've said in this ties in with that, tell me. Feel free to say so, because I am purposely keeping myself mildly vague while also just using the knowledge that I have as a super stupid fanboy uh, all the way through my entire discussion of this movie. 
So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys actually had a really good time. And I hope you actually have plenty of thoughts about what's going to be coming next in the Marvel franchise. As uh, we move on to phase... Uh... Four? Are we in phase four? This is the end of phase three, right? Huh. They made it work. <laughs> Warner Brothers, take note. So yeah, thanks very much for watching, guys. I will see all you very, very soon again. Obviously, this is a hype train, and you're watching this on YouTube or on Facebook. If you're watching on YouTube, a bunch of boxes will have appeared. Up there in that corner will be one that I want you to actually hit. Please, thank you very much. It would really, really help me out. The one right here will be a playlist of the hype train videos that have been done so far. There was a recent one for Black Panther. Well, let's check it out. Over in the far corner will be actually be the most recent video on the channel. And right here will be a video just for you that is actually based on the user analytics and things you do on YouTube and all the things you've ever searched for. It will actually pick someone most relevant that I've made for you to see. So this one, I can highly recommend. So feel free to check that out. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.